Happy, How Many Stars Are in the Sky? Written by Angel Vigil. Illustrated by Adil Ahmad and Martin James. Whenever they visited their grandparents' farm, Ariana, Carlos, and Maria gathered after dinner to listen to their grandfather's stories. On warm nights, they sat out on the porch with Grandfather rocking peacefully in his old wooden rocking chair. He always waited until dusk to begin. Like children everywhere, the children had a favorite story. And like grandparents everywhere, the grandfather never tired of telling it. That night was a perfect night for that story. As they looked up at the evening sky, just beginning to fill with its bright, shiny stars, the children began to chant. Papi, ¿cuántas estrellas hay en el cielo? Papi, how many stars are in the sky? Papi gazed lovingly at each of his grandchildren and asked them, ¿Cuántas piensas tú? How many do you think? Carlos raised his arms to the starry darkness, saying, There must be a zillion, zillion. The grandfather laughed heartily. Well, mijo, that's pretty close. Maybe we'd better count them. But first, I have to tell you the story about the stars and why they are in the sky. And knowing the story was about to begin, the children pulled themselves even closer to their grandfather. Ariana nestled comfortably in his lap, while the others leaned against his legs. Just as he had countless times before, Papi gazed up toward the stars and pointed his weathered finger. You see, mijos, every time a child is born, a new star is added to the sky, and that star shines forever for the child. That is why there are so many bright, shining stars. Every child is a gift from the universe, and each star tells the story of a child's life. As they listened, the children dreamily searched the starry sky, imagining all the children in the world, and secretly they tried to find the stars that were theirs, the bright stars telling the stories of their lives. Their grandfather's soothing voice continued. If you look around, you can imagine that the stars make pictures. We can tell stories about the pictures. Since tonight is a fall night, we see the fall animals. See, over there is a bear that once chased your father in the forest. Can you see the ladle toward the back of the bear? It tells the story of the delicious stew your mother makes for you. Over there is a lizard, like the one I once caught at the water pond. And through the middle of it all runs the bright starry path of the Milky Way, leading you back home if you ever get lost. Knowing that their favorite part of the story was nearing, the children repeated their chorus. Papi, ¿cuántas estrellas hay en el cielo? Papi, how many stars are in the sky? Patiently, the grandfather began. Well, let's count them. Ariana, cuéntalas. You count. Sí. 
Sweet Dariana looked at the sky with steady eyes and proudly proclaimed, Hay una, una, look, a big one! As the other children smiled, the grandfather lovingly answered, Yes, Ariana, you are so right. There is one big star in the sky. Does anyone else want to count the stars in the sky? Papi asked. Carlos answered, I'm learning to count in school. Let me count. Una estrella, dos estrellas, tres estrellas, cuatro estrellas, cinco estrellas, seis estrellas, siete estrellas, ocho estrellas, nueve estrellas, diez estrellas. With a deep laugh, the grandfather said, Yes, Carlos, there are ten stars in the sky, but if we keep counting like that, we will never get to bed. Maria, do you want to count? Maria counted carefully. I see una, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty. Shall I keep counting, papi? Chuckling softly, the grandfather said, well... What do you think, children? Should Maria keep counting? But the children knew that their grandfather had finally reached their favorite part. Together, they shouted, Papi, cuenta tú. Dinos cuántas estrellas hay en el cielo. Papi, you count. You tell us how many stars are in the sky. With his calm voice, the grandfather said, Mijos, look at the stars in the night sky. All my life, I have been counting the stars in the sky. And now, I finally know that there are cincuenta estrellas in the sky. The children howled with delight. Cincuenta! Hay más de cincuenta. Fifty. There are more than fifty. And just as he had countless times before, the grandfather shook his head saying, No, not the number cincuenta, which does mean fifty. But the words sin cuenta, which mean infinity. That means there are so many stars, you can't count them all. Your lives are like that too. There are so many things you can do or be. You can't count them all. Just like you can't count all the stars. There are no limits. As he put his grandchildren to bed, the grandfather sang a lullaby to them. He sang it in Spanish, just as he had heard it sung when he was a child. Duérmete, mi niño, duérmete solito, que cuando despiertes te daré a tolito. Duérmete, mi niña, duérmete, mi sol, duérmete, pedazo de mi corazón. Later, snugly tucked into their beds, the children thought of their grandfather's story and all the beautiful stars in the sky. As they fell asleep, they dreamed of the many adventures their lives could hold. Aventuras 
sin cuenta.